Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was up 0.6% today. Uh, we got everything back and actually closed at a new all-time high. You know, we lost 1.6% uh, with the CPI report that came out on Tuesday and made it all back in just a couple of days. Uh, it's kind of what happened to the last CPI report also. Uh, so uh, not too surprising, uh, but nice to see. Uh, interestingly enough, today's you know run was really precipitated by the retail sales report that came out that was a little bit softer than expected. Uh, and you know, usually that's not a good thing, but again, we've talked about that a few times here. Uh, it's actually a really good piece of news in combined with the hotter than expected CPI report. So the market's definitely focused on the worry of higher inflation. And when you see a little bit softer, uh, you know, a retail sales report and actually a little bit softer factory uh, report that came out today also. Uh, and, and not bad reports, just a little bit less than expected. So that kind of fits into that nice arena, you know, where you're not really nervous about things going backwards, you know, in terms of a recession. Uh, and so the market just continues to march on. Very powerful market, of course, that we're dealing with here since the, you know, bottom of uh, October 27. And uh, just, it, again, it's just like a huge ship, uh, lots of money pouring in, uh, you know, the market might drop based on some different things, especially because it's kind of stretched out to the upside. Uh, but people are starting to look at that as buying opportunities right now. Uh, and, you know, um, and don't want to miss out on the next run that might happen and those types of things. So, you know, we'll see how long this lasts. Uh, surprisingly, these types of things can actually last quite a while. If you look back at 95, it went, you know, almost halfway through 96 uh, also. Uh, so but that was a spectacular time frame. Not sure we're dealing with that here or not. We'll find out. Uh, but uh, still kind of fun to watch how this is going. Uh, small cap stocks today did really well. Uh, they're kind of streaky, uh, and, but it does show you kind of, you know, where somebody's, you know, the market's risk level is. And so when st small stocks start doing better, uh, you know, there's more interest in kind of that potential for a higher gain uh, uh, as far as that goes. So we'll see, that's a trend that's kind of stopped and started quite a few times. We'll see, you know, what happens here. There's something to watch for. But anyway, look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. Of course, I do my show tomorrow, Talk Money with Tom on YouTube, uh, live from 12.15 to 1. Uh, you can, you know, watch that. You can put questions in live and we'll try to answer those. Uh, at the beginning, I do a summary of kind of what I saw happening with the market this week. Uh, and uh, so we can, you know, uh, join us if you'd like, uh, and I uh, look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much.